Hello, hello. Happy Sunday, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. If you're tuning in for the very first time or you've just found me on YouTube at Stamping with Kim Dent, my name is Kim Dent and I've been a Stampin' Up! demonstrator for 21 years. I love teaching uh, crafters how to make quick and easy cards. Um, I do that through monthly classes at Zion Lutheran Church um, in our coffee shop, which is in our lower level. Uh, um, it's at 12075 Dorset Road in Maryland Heights, 63043. If you're in the St. Louis area or even in the Illinois area, I would love to have you join me. Um, our next class is coming up on August the, oh, I should have checked. I believe it's August 12th and 13th. It's not this coming weekend, but the weekend after that. So thank you, everyone. Say hello if you're popping in. I can see I've got some viewers. So let me quickly turn my, uh, can't sync my computer and turn my camera down. How is everyone tonight? I hope good. I hope you all had a great weekend. I have got some new lights in, so it looks like I kind of look yellow. <laughs> I hope I don't look yellow to all of you. I really am okay. <laughs> it's just the new lights. Um, let me see. Hello, Vicki. Uh, oh my goodness. Hello, Mom. Here we go. Coming in. There we go. Coming in. <laughs> there we go. Yay. All right. Oh, thank you, Cheryl. I should have double checked that. Hello, Patty. Hi, Kathy. Yay. Yay. Um, all right. So I've got a bunch of things to share with you tonight. Um, we had our team meeting uh, yesterday, and so I want to share with you some of the um, projects that we made as well as some of the swap cards that uh, I collected from having our swap theme was called Fun in the Sun. So swapping just means that we set up a theme and then we, um, and this month, this actually it was in June, but I had to cancel in June. So July, we, it was fun in the sun. So all the cards had a sunny, fun feeling to them. This is July 31st. Can you girls all believe it? Hi, Joyce. It is, uh, the summer is quickly going by. Those teachers and kids are get, gonna be getting ready to go back to school really quick. So, um, all right, hi, Julie. Thanks for tuning in. Okay, I am going to flip my camera around so I can show you some wonderful cards and a 3D item. So hold on. So let's see, I hope my, I have my new, these brand new lights and I hope that it helps with the shadows. It looks like on my end that it is helping. So, um, like I said, I had the, the theme for our team swap was called Fun in the Sun, and I have got some darling cards to show you. This is from my friend Lynn Zerby, and um, this, this background is called Dots and Spots, and then um, the, st the adorable stamp set, I think it's called Summer Splash. Then she's got a tag. Oh, she's got a um, this ocean stamp set. I can see a big wave by there. And then, oh, she if she tunes in, she can help me. This is a die from, I'm not sure if that is from Splendid Day or not. If she tunes in, though, hopefully she can share that. This looks like Pool Party and Coastal Havana. Isn't it darling? Oh my goodness. I love this. So cute for a girlfriend card. Here's another one. This one was done by Sandy Amen. She also used um, the Sunny Splash. And I believe, I'm going to have to ask her if she tunes in. At some, watch for Sandy Amen's name to pop up. I'm wondering if she did this with reinkers and possibly mar uh, marbles. Marbles to make this fun background and then some pretty sequins. Hello, sunshine. 
This one is from my friend Cheryl, who's tuned in tonight. And this one is done on Pacific Point. She did the um, blending brushes in the background. Here are these darling little pebbles. And this, I had this on the tip of my tongue. Oh, Sandy, there you are. You made it using reinkers. This one, reinkers and wax paper. I love it, and it goes perfectly with this card. Sandy, you can see your, the swaps that you're gonna receive. Okay, back to Cheryl's card. Cheryl did sponging, or with blending brushes, I'm sorry. And then, hold on just a second. Let's see, I think she wrote it down for us. It is on the Horizon set and Horizon dies. Isn't that darling? So pretty. All right, this one is from Celine Geerling, and this is from Paradise Palms. You can see she used those pebbles, and then these little glassy stones. Isn't that pretty? I love it. Looks like balmy blue and coastal cabana, and this beautiful frame is from, I can't remember the name of the die set. You can help me out if anybody knows it, shout it out. Oh, yay, Pam, and just in time. So this is from my friend Pam. And it is an awesome, she loves uh, interactive cards. So watch this, girls. Mm, Ta-da! How cool is that? Pam, so fun. You're going to have to show me how to make that. Oh, I see. I can see. There's a circle dot that was scored in there. That little pop-up. I can't wait to make a card like this. So, and this looks like it's Bermuda Bay and pool party maybe, or Coastal Cabana, but isn't that fun? Gorgeous, gorgeous. And then Vicki Fused, who is, I think, vacationing right now, she made a 3D item. Isn't this cute? Look at, it's a, it's a little box, and look what she put on the inside. Ah, there's, this is a little tea bag, strawberry pomegranate, and these sweet cookies, I love, I think you get these sometimes when you travel on one of the airlines, Biscoff cookies, these are delicious, they taste really good with tea, so that is from Vicki, and then my card I'm going to demonstrate tonight for all of you, so I just wanted you to see that. This is another card. This was not my own idea, but this was one of our make and takes that we uh, did yesterday morning. And this is a Joyfold card. And normally with Joyfolds, they are, usually you see them this direction, but some talented dem demonstrator just took it and flipped it. And so it goes like this. Isn't that sweet? And this is done with the Rustic Harvest uh, D DSP. Um, and then my um, my new dies that I use all the time, some um, stylish shapes. And then You Are Such a Blessing, that comes from the stamp set, and then these little gold, um, uh, what do we call them? Gems. <laughs> I'm not sure, I have to look on my, on my uh, let's see, I've got them right here. They are from the Red and Green Adhesive Back Pearls. So that's where these little, little, they're adhesive back pearls. So the, isn't this sweet? And I can't wait. I've got um, on order that pheasant stamp set that's in the mini catalog. So I'm going to be able to put um, Happy Thanksgiving on the inside. Hi, Shirley. I'm glad you're tuning in tonight. I love this paper too. All right. This is, let's see, the reminder that celebration is still going on. And even though it's the last day of July, never fear, this goes through August 31st. Um, there, I believe there is either sold out or almost sold out. And it is this beautiful set right here, Wonderful World, which I love, with the beautiful coordinating DSP. And then another item is the tree lot dies. Like I said, girls, this is like hot off the presses. I'm not sure if this is sold out completely or if it's getting so close that right now it's not available. So tree lot dies. I hope that if you love them that you have them already in your hands. And then the last one 
that's new that is, um, I believe, going away or almost uh, gone or almost gone is the Rings of Love 12 by 12 designer series paper. So I love this paper. I love it. I love it. So celebration. Oh, but here we go. Exciting news. This is hot off the pre presses. <laughs> August 2nd, which is Tuesday, they're going to put out a new list of items um, that you can choose from if you spend $50 or $100. The, um, so they're add-ons to this offering. Um, and they, I'll be posting a flyer or I, I can put the word out on August 2nd. Um, that's when we officially find out exactly what's on the list. So there will be more items. I have some friends that said they have everything that they want out of this one. So it'll be fun uh, to see if um, when that new list comes out, which I believe it's items out of the mini catalog and also our annual catalog that will be offered for your $50 or $100 purchase. So exciting news. Yeah, Sandy. Get an order in, don't wait, because my goodness, those things are flying off the shelf. All right, the card that I'm gonna demonstrate for you is was my swap card. And um, like I said, the theme was fun in the sun. So I knew when I purchased Paradise Palms, I did a card for one of our classes. I kind of had an idea of what I wanted to do for our team swap. So Paradise Palms and the Coordinating Dies are what we're going to use tonight. And this is my card. And it is a really easy card to make because like I said in the beginning, I love teaching quick and easy cards. But they give a wow factor. So I kind of think this gives a little wow factor. Um, but it really was not hard to make at all. So there you can see um, this so reminds me, for those of you girls who've been... Uh, to Hawaii. Oh my goodness. I, where can I have been twice thanks to Stampin' Up! Once to Oahu and the second time to Maui. And this totally remember or reminds me of um, our time there. But any kind of beach scene, this also, I'm going to use it tonight as a retirement card. Um, so for my traveling friends or my friends that are getting ready to retire or my friends that live, love the beach, this card would be um, perfect for you. So I'm gonna pull this aside and I'm gonna set my catalog right here. So um, the colors that we're gonna use are Starry Sky, Mango Melody, Melon Mambo, and Daffodil Delight, along with, we're gonna use Versamark. I'm going to pull out my new tray again that I love and just a little bit of memento for the inside. And then the card kit is, let's put this right here. Y'all can see that or not. Oh, yeah, you can. Uh, Mango Melody. I don't use this color very often. Thanks, Katie. Um, I don't use Mango Melody very often. A lot of times you'll see me use it like for Halloween cards. But tonight I'm using it for my uh, Fun in the Sun card. So Mango Melody, four and one fourth by 11, scored at five and a half. Then Crushed Curry is three and three fourths by five. And then a layer of black, just to make it pop. Basic black, three and a half by four and three fourths. Um, we're going to use two pieces of basic black. This is for your palm tree, two and a half by five. And then we're going to use, this is for the inside, basic white inside, three and three fourths by five. This is the paper that I they haven't pulled out in forever, but I knew using the blending brushes. If you love using your blending brushes to make backgrounds, you've got to get shimmery white. So shimmery white has a beautiful, like think wink of Stella all over the card. And it's got that, that pretty iridescent glimmer to it, which I don't know if the camera will pick it up, probably not. But it's got a, a more of a little gloss to it, which makes those blending brushes just roll right over. So shimmery white, it's in the back of the catalog. 
And then I used a piece of basic black. This is for the grass under the palm trees. One and a half, one and a half by three and three fourths. And then I brought in the adhesive sheets. So you need two pieces of two and a half by four and three fourths um, to put on the back of the basic black for your palm trees. And the grass, one and one fourth by three and three fourths. So that's for that piece. And then let's see, what else did I want to show you? Oh, the stamp set. I decided I'm going to make, I had a happy birthday on my swap cards, but I'm going to use retirement wishes for um, this one. So retirement wishes and on the inside, hope you find a little paradise wherever you may be. Ah. <laughs> All right, let's get to it. So I'm going to take my Mango Melody and I'm going to go ahead and pull in my very, my little special bone folder. You all, I think I've showed it. I love this. Ah, this is my special one. <laughs> I'm going to fold it in half and put a nice crease in it. Put that to the side. And then I am going to, I think I'm just going to set this aside and start with the shimmery white. So three and one fourth by four and a half. And I'm going to bring in my blending brushes. Actually, I'm going to get this out of the way because you can see it's an inky, it's a very inky kind of card tonight. <laughs> when you're using these, I always like to have a grid paper, extra grid paper. And here are my blending brushes. So I've got one for each color that we're using tonight. I also want to remind you that these can be um, washed. It just takes a little while. You want to, you don't want to use them unless they're completely dry. So um, this one you can obviously a starry sky. So watch how easy this is. We're going to take my blending brush and we're going to ink it up. And I you, can you see like how my finger I always point it like this. I don't know. It just helps control it. And then I'm going to always 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 start off on the the grid paper or the uh, the copy paper whatever whatever you have underneath your um, piece that you're using the blending brush and we're just gonna add starry sky to it till I get it you know the darkness that I want and I just use I like to do circular motions I almost have to like tell myself it's very hard for me to do when I'm talking or doing a Facebook live or a video because if you go directly onto this it's like this blob so I have to tell myself tap it almost and then go into it okay I'm gonna set this aside because I'm gonna use it again I'm gonna bring in melon mambo and this just adds just a hint of pink to the sky. So just a bit of melon mambo. And I'm going to stop. I'm going to do this. And then I'm going to go gently across here. Just a little bit because I'm going to go back into scar starry sky and go over it. Because I don't want it to be that vibrant, I guess the word is. I'm going to blend it. Isn't that pretty? Okay. Now I, now I can close this up. The next color that I'm going to bring is in Mango Melody. I'm going to actually set these off to the side too. I had, when I was making my swap cards, girls, oh my goodness. It was like you can already tell. <laughs> it was a Incapalooza. <laughs> Mango Melody, tap and then go into it. Uh, oh, see there, that's a little dark. Well, let's see if I can blend it. Well, every sunset is a little bit different. So we're going to take now, uh, close this one up. And we're going to bring in Daffodil Delight. Just 
to add a little bit of yellow down here at the bottom and maybe blend some more of that daffodil out. That's better. Okay, that's your blending brush tutorial 101, girls. <laughs> okay, the next thing I'm going to show you, I'm going to set this to the side, and I want to show you what I did for the, um, the palm trees. So I uh, used, uh, not on my swap cards, I don't know what I was thinking. I wasn't thinking, but I thought, after I made the cards, I thought, why didn't I use my adhesive sheets? So the adhesive sheets come in long pieces that I think are six by 12, and you can cut them up, you know, however you, whatever size you want, which is what I did. You just lay the adhesive on your cardstock, and it's got, if you're lucky, you can get the, there's perforated, not perforated there's slits that make there you can see how it comes off a little bit easier that you don't it's sliced like already okay what I did was here's my palm die and I ran this through my stamp and cut and emboss machine and I did the same thing with the grassy piece so when I was done to save a little bit of time, I just want to show. I just wanted to show you how to put on the adhesive sheets. Um, when you run it through, then I'm going to put those there. What happens is this becomes a sticker, so I'm not having to use my Tombow glue or my silicone craft mat. It's just a nice way to use uh, to have like intricate pieces like this. It doesn't necessarily also, you know, have to be dyed. You can use it for anything, but I especially enjoy using it with like in intricate dyes. Okay, so um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my, yeah, they, they are game changers. Yes, they're made by Stampin' Up. They're in the back of the catalog. And um, you're right. They are absolutely great game changers, especially, I mean, if you make, like think making a bunch of these cards, um, Katie, or like Christmas cards, they save so much time. And especially if you don't like getting sticky fingers, um, they're wonderful. So they're in the very back of the catalog. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is, uh, hello Merv. Yeah, um, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna emboss for you. So remember this is a new item that is in the mini catalog that I love because it comes, it's like a little kit. These are tweezers, a little brush. Um, the, the embossing buddy is there. And then the tree that has the plug on the end of it. So I'm gonna show you how it works. I'm gonna bring in my new Versamark first. Oh, and I think I'm gonna bring this in, my little grid paper, because I have this pretty new piece on here. And I'm gonna bring in my, well, hello, Kyle Dent. Thanks for tuning in tonight, watching his mama. Oh, love you, sweetie. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take my embossing buddy and I'm going to rub it over the area where I'm going to put happy retirement. And this is gonna prevent, for those of you who are new, um, this will prevent like excess um, embossing powder from grabbing where I've already inked up or done the blend uh, anytime, but especially like now that I put on ink on top of that shimmery white, it will help with static. So I'm gonna bring in my happy retirement, or no, it's, I'm sorry, retirement wishes, and I'm gonna ink it up. Now you can see I'm like not pushing this down into the, the Versamark pad. I'm just taking and lightly, uh, hi Penny, um, I'm taking it and just lightly tapping it on top, I'm not pushing it because if I push, what happens is you're gonna get that halo all the way around. All right, let's put it right, I believe right here. Yeah, palm trees. Penny, does this remind you of one of your favorite places on this earth? I bet it does. Retirement wishes. And then I'm gonna cover up my Versamark 
and I'm going to bring in my cute little tray and here's some um, basic black and uh, no let's see it's called black stampin emboss powder it's black and it comes in black and white and what other some other colors um, we have another set gold and silver I think in copper so, oh, I'm just gonna try to get out of this and flick off the excess now if I had some that were you know some extra little pieces that were flicking around there that's what this little brush is for okay I'm gonna set this to the side st. Thomas yeah and then I'm gonna bring in my heat tool which is wonderful it's got two settings and I'm just going to heat it enough on uh, the powder to make it melt. I'm not going to heat it. I'm just going to watch for it to... Oh, and I should be using my little tweezers. There we go. I should have been doing this one. <laughs> yeah, we do need to all go there someday. <laughs> All right, here we go. That's the um, the rest of this is quick and easy. Let me set my tray off to the side because I don't want to spill it. Um, I'm going to take, here we go with the, oh, let's see, no. First I'm going to put on the trees and do this in the right order. So see that adhesive back sticker? Look at that, Katie. All I have to do is there's the adhesive now all over it. And I'm going to position this right up here. And I like it that it hangs off of the, the blended area. And then I'm going to take my snips. Oh, thanks. And snip off the end. And I'm going to bring in my second one. Ta-da! And pull this one kind of close to that retirement wishes, but not too close. And then snip the end of that one off. And then I'm going to bring in my grassy piece. I guess this is grass girls. What do you think? It's just a real neat effect. And then, ooh, hold on. Decided when I was making the swap cards, it was easier when I glued this one down. Hi, Brenda. Thanks for tuning in. I just had, I don't know, this. Oh, and you know what, girls? Ah, you can see this is one of my things. I talk and I don't. So when you um, <laughs> do embossing, do you see how this cardstock is kind of like um, warped a little bit? What I normally say is, and I don't know if I can do it tonight, is what I normally say is you always want to put an extra bit of adhesive, whether it's your Tombow glue or your Stampin' se Seal or whatever you're using, two-way tape, put it behind that, that area that has been embossed because a lot of times, see how little that is? It just has a tendency to to warp that. Now that might settle down a little bit. I'm squishing it. Hopefully it will. If not, I'll probably shoot some Tombow glue under there. And then I'm going to put my little grassy piece. It actually is down on the bottom layer. It's on the layer, the black layer. Can you all see that? And then this layer goes on to the three and three fourths by five crushed curry. Don't these colors look so pretty together? <laughs> and then you know what's coming. Dimensionals. I can move this out of the way. I always like to do one in the middle and one in each corner. And then this is going to go onto your Mango Melody. This makes me want to go to the beach. <laughs> I 
There we go. Now I'm going to bring in, this is my basic white. This is, I either do three and three fourths by five or four by five and a quarter. It's just something that I've always done. And I'm going to bring in my Memento ink. And this is another, uh, which I think is so sweet. Hope you find a little paradise wherever you may be. It's going to go on the inside. set that to the side make sure this is dry I just re-inked that ink pad so you know sometimes when you um, just re-ink it's really juicy and it has a tendency to take just a smidge longer to dry so ta-da oh isn't that pretty <laughs> There you go, first card done, ladies. Let me get this out of the way. And I'm gonna bring in our second card, which is get, be prepared. Is Jan Foss watching tonight? Is she in? Jan, are you here? You're gonna love this card, Jan, because I just saw you post something about what this, what I'm, same thing as what I'm making this card out of. Yeah, Jan, watch this card you're gonna love so we did this as one of the make and takes at the team meeting and Jan right before I uh, started going live I saw she posted something about a gnome wreath so tonight Jan we're making a gnome card and it's easy 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 to do so do you love it oh I love it I told the girls yesterday, I'm not even that crazy about gnomes. But once I saw this, I'm like, oh my goodness. It's so stinking cute. And it's so easy. So, so easy to make. So um, the stamp set and coordinating uh, dies are from, where's my book? Storybook Gnomes, which are, this is in the mini catalog. And it really came out as more, well, no, not necessarily, because there's, like, you can see the big mushroom, but um, let me flip the page. The, um, the suite includes the stamp set, these dies, and then you can you see the DSP, which is adorable. Some new, um, these are some new uh, adhesive back gems that coordinate with the DSP. I just ordered this yesterday, Snowfall Accents Puff Paint. So this is um, something that if you want to add snow, oh, ac obviously snow to, but I think you can use it on other things it, and you use it with the heat tool to make it puff up. And then this pretty balmy blue and white ribbon. Um, and so this is in the mini catalog and I wasn't going to get it. And then I went on Pinterest and then I saw it and then I was like, oh my goodness, I have to have it. <laughs> so, um, there you can see a better look. Kindest gnomes, they're called. Your kindness does not go unnoticed. And then there are four funny little gnomes and then the mushrooms. You know me so well. Warm wishes. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Watch how easy, though, it is to make with these stinking cute dies. Here are, get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then the pieces that I'm using tonight are, this is his hat, his funny little gnome hat, his beard, his... Oh, and I just realized something. His nose... And these are his feet. And I don't think I cut these out ahead of time, girls. I wanted to show you this. So some of you, um, if I have these all over my stamp room. I used to carry them to stamp class. I think I've got to start doing it again. This is from Harbor Freight. It's what an um, auto worker would use. But crafters, it made uh, some very smart crafter thought, I've, I'm losing my dies. And so you put this next to your machine 
and then these don't go any place. I can't tell you. Last week, especially, I had it wasn't this. It wasn't this. The nose of the gnome, but I dropped it. I have a, a ceramic tile underneath uh, in my craft room, and this tiny little die went flying. I knew it was gonna. I knew it was here, but um, I thought time. To, I, time to get out these little things and they're so inexpensive they're like I want to say $2.99 $2.99 for these they come in all different sizes you know great big or smaller than this even so um, that's the die set and the stamp set and oh no I did remember I did remember oh, yay. <laughs> oh my goodness been a long day okay we're gonna use we're going to use Poppy Parade, and if Kelly, I know uh, Patty's watching, I don't know if Kelly Tashannon is, but Kelly Tashannon and I, we both love Poppy Parade. Um, Poppy Parade, five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and one fourth. Um, another piece, another layer of crushed curry, four by five and one fourth. Oh, Jan, you have to get the gnome set then. Oh, yeah, the whole suite. Okay, here's that uh, wonderful, this is Rings of Love from Celebration. The other side has the, the tree, uh, tree, sir, tree rings, tree rings. Hence the name Rings of Love Girls. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, but this side is mushrooms. We're going to use three and three fourths by five. I hope if you love it that you already have your hands on a pack. Um, this is my inside piece, three and three fourths by five also. And then this skinny little piece of Poppy Parade, this is one inch by five inches. And this is what I stamped on. This is basic white three fourths by four and three fourths that gets layered into that piece. And then your pieces that you're going to um, cut out your little gnome, a piece of basic white two and a half by two and a half, a Poppy Parade for his hat two and a half by two and a half, and oh look this tiny little petal pink this is a one inch by one inch and then soft suede for his uh, belly and his boots two by two so if you want to take a quick picture of that and that belongs with this adorable card so i can't wait to make more little gnomes um i'm more most excited about the die set but I also think it would be, I'm, I know I'm going to be pulling out my uh, blends to color some of those quirky little gnomes with. But I'm most excited about this, uh, the dies, because it's so easy to do. So I'm going to start assembling right away. Poppy Parade. We're going to bring out my almost so special bone folder. Put a nice crease in it. Then we're going to layer onto it crushed curry. Oh, hello, Valerie. Valerie, do you like gnomes? <laughs> I hope you do. I'm going to flip this over. If you do, you're going to love this card. And then I'm going to bring in Rings of Love. The little mushrooms that are in this. There's much... I don't know if you noticed, but um, in the die set, there's little pieces that look either like a mushroom or I've seen some people turn it into like gumdrops. And then I'm going to bring in my Poppy Parade ink pad. Poppy Parade. And... Um, oh, I forgot. Let's see. Did I bring it? Yeah, I did this so long ago so this happy birthday I wanted a long and skinny to go across this piece right here so I went through my catalog and artistically inked had exactly what I needed so happy birthday is from this set and then I'm gonna bring in my skinny little piece of basic white Let's see if I can do this so remember I'm just gonna lightly tap and not smush and I always like to flip my stamp over to make sure it's got ink on all of the letters or all the image and I'm going to place this down towards the right side like 
There you go. I re-inked this one too. That's all the stamping on this card that we're going to do. So set that to the side. And this piece gets layered onto this. Then this. Kind of down towards the bottom half. And then the last thing that I have to do, I'm going to show you how easy it is to assemble the little gnome. Oh, I saw Allison. I saw you had a hard time because of the rain. All right. There's his little gnome hat, his little belly and his shoes, his beard. And I don't know, can you all see this, the detail on it? I hope my camera's picking it up. Yeah, it is. So I know right there is where his little nose goes. <laughs> his little nose. I'm going to take a mini dimensional, put it right there, pull it off. They're so cute and quirky. All right, and then, oh, I did take, let's see, how did I do this? I think I put the adhesive on his belly and his boots, and then I positioned this where I wanted it, his beard. And then I did take my um, Tombow glue just two little dots. There we go. Oops, don't spill that glue. Set this to the side. And the last thing I did was I put dimensionals all over the back of him. So I put some mini dimensionals on his boots. And then up at the top of his tip top of his little gnome hat. Then I think I used the regular sized dimensionals. This is another good tip, like um, just because I think it's a good idea. I. I like to, like, I'm going to place that dimensional over that piece just in case, like, I didn't get enough adhesive on it. And the same with, I'm going to do it across where the hat attaches, or the beard attaches, just because I did just two dots. So, I'm, you know, that just gives me, like, a little extra something, something, so it doesn't become detached. Thank you. Thanks. And girls, this was not my own idea. And I wish I added a little bit to it. I changed the colors maybe a smidge, but um, there, this was right off of Pinterest and I can't think of her name, but thank you. Thank you, demonstrator, if you see this card. I think it's adorable. And then the last piece, well, the basic white, but you all know this tip. Don't ever glue down the inside until you've stamped this. So I'm not sure what um, verse I'm going to put on there, but you know, I always, I always, always have a piece, an insert to go on the inside of my cards, unless it's a thick white or a thick vanilla. So that's going to go there. And then the last thing, because he's got to have a little bling, we're going to use the 2021 to 2023 in color opal rounds. And I thought this color, which is uh, Evening Evergreen, is that right? Yeah, Evening Evergreen. Um, I thought this matched, like the color in the DSP, really pretty. <laughs> yeah, this is, the. you're right, Allison. The, he would make an adorable, there's going to be some adorable Christmas cards made with this guy. 
and then using three, one should go right underneath. How do you like that, girls? <laughs> I can't wait to make Christmas cards with them. All right, tell me which one is your favorite. Is it the beautiful palm trees or that quirky little gnome that was so easy to make? Also, girls, this is, I'm trying to teach you like layouts, remember? And this is a wonderful layout to remember. You can, you know, do so many different things, whether you put, cut out an image of a puppy or we've got that Scotty dog, one piece of DSP that works its magic. Um, and then the, the three, well, it's like the three layers right here. And then this skinny strip, which you can make as wide or as skinny as you want. And then some sort of, like this could be a Christmas tree or um, I don't know, what else do we have that could go there? You can make dozens of different cards with this layout. And then this one, oh, I hope uh, I hope someday to get back to, or to St. Thomas. Oh, yeah, I've been to St. Thomas, so hopefully one day Rick and I will get back there too. So thank you everyone. Oh, thank you, Peggy. All right, I'm gonna flip this around. Okay, um, so this week I'm going to be busy making, um, getting ready for stamp classes, which are not this coming weekend, but the 12th and the 13th of August. I have plenty of spots available. Um, on Friday night, the class starts at 6 p.m. and goes to 9 p.m. On Saturday morning, it starts at 9 and goes till noon. And then the afternoon class is at 1 and it goes till 4. I have spots available. If you're interested, you can contact me, you know, text me, give me a call or send me a Facebook message. Just make sure if you send me a Facebook message that I respond, that I don't miss it. So I'd love to have you join me. The first time you come, you're absolutely free. And after that, the class fee is $10 for five cards five, not 10. It's $10 for five cards. <laughs> Everything is pre-cut, neatly assembled, and you go home with envelopes and five adorable cards ready to mail. So, all right. Thank you, everyone. Have a wonderful week. God's blessings. Bye-bye.